Hi Switch Up family, now I know a lot of us really struggle to find people to play games with online. If that's you, then maybe consider joining our free Discord. There's a link to it in the, uh, what is it, the description. And there's a load of helpful people on there. There's a couple of unhelpful ones, but just ignore them. First things first, that's a weird saying, isn't it? You're not gonna say first things second. But anyway, first things first, you can save 10% on your eShop credit. Over at switchup.gg, using code switchup, you'll get 5% off instantly and 5% back in coins. Second things first, if you missed our midweek sales video, we actually have a copy of each and every one of those games to give away. So yeah, I'll pop a link to that in the uh, description. We have some good chat in this episode, some fast food products, and I am joined by my two-year-old. Say hello. Alright, what are the best games on sale? Well, let's find out. Let's not be annoying, let's talk about the thumbnail game straight away. Well, it's probably the thumbnail game, and it's Everspace. This is down to its cheapest ever price, it's 75% off. And put simply, this is a roguelite in space. It does have a storyline that plays out over several of your runs, but you directly control a ship and you can get other ships as you progress. You can change the weapons on them, you can defeat pirates and then steal their weapons and you can include modules that have various different effects. So things like drone modules that will send out little drones to fight on your behalf, guided missiles, all that fun stuff from the good old days of things like Freelancer. I always check this one to see if it goes on sale. It always makes our addictive games lists if you've not seen those. This is incredibly compelling. It did take me a while to complete my first run through but there's still loads to come back for. And when you unlock the ship that can go stealth mode, it's a bit of a game changer. Everspace is on sale until July the 16th. Check out the review link in the description. Then we've got Katamari Damacy Reroll, which is 80% off. Bajan. <laughs> It is a Barjan, you're right. Now this is the remastered version of the classic Katamari Damacy game where you basically have to roll everything up in a big sticky ball. That is called a Katamari. Now you're the prince, the son of the king of the cosmos who accidentally destroyed all the stars in the sky. You basically have to restore the stars by rolling up objects on the earth and then he sends them into orbit. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous, but it's very fun. Now you can play it solo or with a friend in split screen and the Joy-Cons have a motion control element to them. If you woke up this morning and thought, yeah, I know what I need, a Japanese fever dream, then this would definitely be a good pickup for you this lovely Sunday evening. I am an unashamed fan of walking simulators, and Oxenfree is a supernatural adventure where you have to control someone called Alex, who's essentially gone to an island to have a party. It all goes a bit awry and gets a bit scary as well when you unleash some kind of paranormal forces. You have to walk around exploring the island, talking to your friends, choosing different dialogue options, and I guess its unique hook in that regard is that you can kind of choose what to say when you say it, and you can stay silent as well but you also use a radio that allows you to tune into different frequencies and hear some slightly unnerving broadcasts it's got a great soundtrack this one it's a bit of a cult hit and at 80 percent off before the next game i think the next game comes out this month i would definitely play this one first that sale goes on until july the 19th return of the obra din is a brilliant game it's a mystery game where you essentially play as an insurance investigator and they have to find out what happened to the crew of a merchant ship that went missing in 1803 it's turned up at port and it's got no survivors and you can play back basically how different members of the ship died and then walk around them almost like in the uh, mind maps that you see in Sherlock Holmes. This then allows you to gradually try and identify who all the passengers were and how they died. It's so clever and it's so cleverly done. That monochromatic art style was supposedly inspired by old Macintosh games and that rewind in time mechanic. It's like a more fleshed out version of some of the investigations you did in the old Batman games. Potentially something totally different, maybe not a game type that you've played before, but I really enjoyed it. The Little Nightmares 1 and 2 bundle is 70% off until July the 16th. They're horror games where you play as Six, a hungry little girl who has to escape the moor, which is a twisted place full of monstrous creatures that want to eat her. Sounds like most days in my house. You probably didn't hear that, but almost on cue there was some kind of wail. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now, the one and two pack bundle obviously includes both of the games as well as all the DLCs for the first one. They run well enough on the Switch. They're not too challenging and they're not too scary, which are both definitely reasons why I would potentially play these ones. But at 70% off for both until July the 16th, I know for sure Glenn would say this is a uh, bargain. Why are you saying bargain for? <laughs> 
Dredge has just made a list that we've done together of the top games of the year so far, and that's for a very good reason. Now, it's a game predominantly about fishing, but it's not as you know it. You have to catch fish using your harpoon gun and then sell them for money and resources, and then upgrade your boat and equipment. There are new areas to discover, but the strange thing is that at night time, well, it gets strange and dark. It becomes really difficult to navigate. Lots of weird things pop up that weren't there before, and it just gets very scary. Some Sometimes you'll have to wait it out, just clinging to land, and then when the light comes up, it's just really easy again. It has a really nice hybrid art style, but you can use different baits, lures, and traps, and then crafting and placing those new items on your ship to then fulfill the missions of the townsfolk. A very compelling game. So if you're someone that finds you get a little bit addicted when you start something, this is definitely one to add to your addictive games list. That sale goes on until July the 19th. Rad would describe itself as a 3D action roguelike game that's set in a post-apocalyptic world with neon colours. Controls wise it's like a twin stick shooter but you get these um, mutations that will change your character so you might get these weird crab legs that let you move in all directions or find the ability to breathe fire. It has a great soundtrack from David L and then between runs you have this town area that you can go to gradually improving and moving on. This one's been out for ages and I remember the one thing I didn't like about it when it came out was how blurry it was it's still quite blurry so if you don't like your games to have a slight smear of vaseline then you might not enjoy this but if you don't really care then fighting your way through finding different areas upgrading it has all those elements that are so addictive all draped with a very nice 80s vibe now two point campus is essentially two point hospital but on a campus it's a simulation game where you get to build and run your own university this includes creating your own courses, designing your own buildings in that classic style where you drag the rooms out to the shape and size you want, and managing staff and students, choosing staff that are cheap, do a terrible job, and want to quit after five minutes. <laughs> That is the order of the day. There are some very cool classes, things like night school, gastronomy, clowning around, and it does run well on the Nintendo Switch. Now, one thing I can't remember is if the Switch version has online. I don't think it does, but I could be wrong. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Either way, they've always been enjoyable games. If you played Theme Hospital back in the day, this is essentially the same. And pleasing those pesky students is actually rather enjoyable. That's on sale at 33% off until July the 17th. The kids pick this week, then, is a game called Mars Super. Palami Hoob Adventure. That's him, Palami. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. These are based on some original comic books, and you can use your tail to swing, you can bounce around, attack creatures, or grab objects. And there are four different worlds, I think. Jungle, city, circus, and a haunted castle. The main character is called Punch, who is a Marsupalami, who lives in the jungle of Palombia. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. He finds a mysterious egg, and then he goes on a, a quest around the world. If I found a mysterious egg, I'd probably fry it. <laughs> and have it with some crispy bacon. <laughs> and then go back to bed. <laughs> that one's 60% off. Definitely a good kids pick this week, and that's until July the 27th. Now, a hidden gem is a very difficult thing to find these days on the Switch. It's easy finding hidden rubbish, or hidden crap, <laughs> but hidden gems, not as easy. Now, this one will be a hidden gem for many, and it's called To The Moon. It's 30% off. I originally saw a review from Jordan over at Switch Watch and was like, man, that looks amazing. It's an indie adventure game, and you play as a doctor, as a part of a company that essentially provide a service to fulfill people's dying wishes and one of your clients wants to go to the moon. This then entails you going back through his memories and you're trying to find out exactly why he wants to do that. It's very emotional and to the point where, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was welling up. As you go through his life story, you get to meet all of his old friends and family, but also finding out those inner secrets as well as regrets. It has an original soundtrack that also does wonders really in terms of creating that atmosphere and it's absolutely not one to miss. Even if you look at that and think, hey, that art style doesn't tickle me fancy. If the premise intrigues you, give it a go and let me know in the next episode what you thought of it. Then we have a quick fire selection of games that are very, very cheap. So cheap, in fact, you you wouldn't be able to buy a UK Savaloy or your regional equivalent. And first up, we have Woopo, the Definitive Edition, or Wapo. It's an action adventure game with a few RPG elements sprinkled in for good measure and these hand drawn graphics. And you play as Wum, who's been kicked out of his apartment for uh, making a mess. He's got to travel the world hoping to find a new home. There are puzzles, boss fights, a decent variety of enemies in there, 
and it's super cheap at 93% off. Now Velocity 2X, that's been out a good long time, it's a sci-fi action game, it's a bit of a shoot em up, it's a bit of a platformer, and it features a pilot who's been abducted by an alien race called the Vogh. <coughs> Sorry about that. She has her Quarp Jet, which is a teleporting spacecraft, and also can fight on foot. It's a fun, fast-paced action game that's currently 85% off until July the 26th. Rogue Aces is 80% off, and I wouldn't look twice at this, I've got to be honest, if I hadn't played it. It's incredibly addictive, and it's from a very small and very cool little indie dev team that we met in London one time. It's a 2D arcade game where you fly a fighter plane in procedurally generated worlds, but it's just got those mechanics that make it compelling. Things like taking off and landing aren't as easy as they look, but the actual gameplay, oh my goodness, it just it's just so, so addictive. And then for something totally different, you've got Silence. It's 90% off. It's an old school adventure set within a beautiful hand-painted world that's currently been torn apart by war. You play as two siblings and they find shelter in a bunker and then uh, discover a portal to this strange place called Silence. The interesting thing here is that Silence is almost a world between life and death. They meet a load of survivors. I mean, it's a bit like, I don't know, a dark version of Alice in Wonderland. Although having said that, Alice in Wonderland is pretty dark when you read the original. You get to control both of the characters as well as their companion that's essentially a magical caterpillar. <laughs> Some of the puzzles are a little bit meh, but overall I thought it was a decent little game from a smaller team. And I do, I do like adventure games. That's 90% off. It's usually at this point that I would say a game that you should avoid, but honestly, I can't think of one this week. So that'll be our giveaway. If you can think of a game that someone should avoid and, and a reason why, pop it down in the comments and we'll pick one of those as the winner for next week's free game. Lovely jubbly. As we said at the start, our website peeps have extended that 10% discount. It's like the glory days. Use code SWITCHUP to save 5% instantly and you get 5% back in SWITCHUP tokens. Over at SWITCHUP.GG and we get a little kickback from Nintendo. If you're struggling to find friends to play with online then please do join our Discord. There's a link to that in the description. There is a great little SWITCHUP family over there and they're quite helpful as well when they want to be. <laughs> For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers guys, see ya!